Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve. d square minus 3d plus 2 into y equals to 1 plus x into e power x. Firstly, let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative. Here, d square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 2. And highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Or just write the given differential equation as d square y minus 3dy plus 2y equals to RHS. We know that d is a differential operator. We can write d square as d square by dx square. Now, we can write our equation as d square y by dx square. Minus 3 into dy by dx plus 2y equals to 1 plus x into e power x. Here d square y by dx square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 2 and highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Now coming to the problem. Given differential equation. d square minus 3d plus 2 into y equals to 1 plus x into e power x, which is an operator form. f of d into y equals to q, where f of d equals to d square minus 3d plus 2. And q equals to 1 plus x into e power x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is a complementary function and yp is a particular integral. We'll find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. And we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into q. Right? So, let's find complementary function using the roots of auxiliary equation. So, now we are going to find roots using the auxiliary equation. We know that the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is simply by putting r equals to 0, we will get f of d into y equals to 0, which is a homogeneous equation of the given non homogeneous equation. So the auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to, we are having f of d d square minus 3d plus 2. Let's replace differential operator by m. So that will get f of m equals to m square minus 3m plus 2. Now, our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 3m plus 2 equals to 0. m square, now split minus 3m as 2m minus m plus 2 equals to 0. Then, take m common from the first two terms, we will get m times m minus 2. And take minus common from the next two terms, we will get minus of m minus 2 equals to 0. If you notice, we are having m minus 2 in both the terms. So, let's take m minus 2 common and solve that. We will get m minus 2 into m minus 1 equals to 0. Right? Now equate each factor to 0. From m minus 2 equals to 0, we will get m equals to 2. From m minus, sorry, from m minus 3 equals to 0, we will get m equals to 2. And from m minus 1 equals to 0, we will get m equals to 1. So the roots are m equals to 2 and 1 or m equals to 1 and 2, which are real and distinct. Therefore, m equals to 1, 2 are the roots of f of m equals to 0 which are real and distinct otherwise real and different we can call. Okay? Get called as real and distinct or real and different. Now 
Now, we know that when two roots are real and distinct, yc will be one constant into e power 1 root into x plus another constant into e power another root into x. Now, coming to a complementary function, our complementary function looks like y c equals to c1 into e power 1 root into x plus c2 into e power another root into x. Then y c is equals to c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x. So we got y c. Now let's find particular integral. We will find particular integral using 1 by f of d into q. We have f of d and q. f of d is dq. Sorry. d square minus 3d plus 2. And q is 1 plus x into e power x. This is of 1 by f of d into e power ax into v form. Right? So. We will shift e power ax towards left by replacing d with d plus a. And later we will operate v with 1 by f of d plus a. Right? Now, compare this with 1 by f of d into e power ax into v. Compare e power x with e power ax and for a equals to 1. We will find d plus a which is equals to d plus 1. Now, let us shift e power x towards left by replacing d with d plus 1. We will get d plus 1 whole square minus 3 into d plus 1 plus 2 into 1 plus x. This equals to e power x into 1 by d plus 1 whole square is d square plus 1 plus 2d minus 3d minus 3 into plus 1 minus into plus minus 3 into 1 3 plus 2 into 1 plus x. This equals to e power x into 1 by d square plus 2d minus 3d is minus d plus 1 plus 2 is plus 3 minus 3 into 1 plus x. Right? Here plus 3 minus 3 gets cancelled. Then we will get e power x into 1 by d square minus d into 1 plus x. Now yp becomes e power x into 1 by, now take d common from the two terms of denominator, we will get d times d minus 1 into 1 plus x is equals to e power x into split this as 1 by d into 1 by d minus 1 into 1 plus x is equals to e power x into 1 by d into now let's write 1 by d minus 1 as 1 by 1 minus x form so that we can write it as 1 minus x whole inverse or you can write it as 1 plus x form okay so let's take minus common from these two terms since d does not has minus 1 okay we can write this minus 1 as plus of minus 1 so that it will be easy to take minus common. Or take minus common then we will get minus 1 of d by minus 1 plus 1. Right? Into 1 plus x which is equal to e power x into 1 by d into I will take this. Okay, I will write this as minus 1 by 1 plus d by minus 1, okay, into 1 plus x, which is equal to e power x into 1 by d into, write this minus towards left, so that we will get minus e power x into 1 by d into 1 by 1, so we can write d by minus 1 as minus d, and plus into minus is minus into 
minus d so two okay into one plus x or Just take minus common, then we'll get minus of minus d plus one into one plus x, which is equal to e power x into one by d into minus one by one minus d. Okay. Simply, we'll write one first, and then term involving minus next into one plus x. So, which is equal to minus e power x into one by d into one by one minus d. Right. Now y becomes minus e power x into one by d into we can write one by one minus d one by one minus d is of one by one minus x form so we'll write it as one minus d whole inverse into one plus x. Now we'll use binomial series expansion one minus x whole inverse equals to one plus x plus x squared plus so on. So before heading to one minus x whole inverse, we'll just find derivatives of q, uh, not q, one plus x. Derivative of one plus x is because q is one plus x into e power x, right? Let's rename this one plus x as some r for our convenience, okay? Now find derivative of one plus x. Derivative of one constant with respect to x is zero plus derivative of x with respect to x is one, which is equal to one. D square of one plus x is derivative of derivative of one plus x. We have the value of for derivative of one plus x, which is one. So here we need to find derivative of a constant with respect to x, which is zero. Likewise, d cube of one plus x, d power four of one plus x, so on becomes zero. In general, d power k of one plus x is zero for k equals to two, three, four, and so on. Right? Now. Coming to binomial series expansion, by keeping this in mind, we will expand one minus d whole inverse is equal to one minus d plus d square plus sorry one plus d plus d square plus d cube plus so on. The higher derivatives from d square can be discarded because Higher derivatives of r is zero from two, three, four, and so on, right? For k equals to two, three, four, and so on. So we can neglect all the higher derivatives from here. Okay. This equals to now coming to y p. This equals to minus e power x into one by d into expansion of one minus d whole inverse. Is one plus d plus d square plus so on into one plus x. Since d square of one plus x is zero, d cube of one plus x is zero, and so on. In general, d power k. Of one plus x is zero for k equals to two, three, and so on. So we can neglect higher derivatives from d square, that is d square, d cube, and so on. Right? So we can neglect from here. Then y p becomes minus e power x into one by d into one plus d into one plus x. 
yb becomes minus e power x into 1 by d into 1 into 1 plus x is 1 plus x plus derivative of 1 plus x is equals to minus x sorry minus e power x into 1 by d into 1 plus x plus derivative of 1 plus x is 1 is equals to minus e power x into 1 by d into 1 plus x plus 1 which is equals to minus e power x into 1 by d into x plus 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, here we are having 1 by 2 which is an integral operator. If d is a differential operator then 1 by d is an integral operator. So, now we need to find integral of x plus 2 into dx. This equals to minus e power x into integral x dx plus integral 2 dx. This is equals to minus e power x into integral x dx is x is square by 2 plus you can write integral 2 dx as 2 integral dx, right? You will get 2 into integral dx is x. This becomes, also we can write it as minus e power x into x square plus 2 into 2x is 4x by 2. Now we can split the fraction as 1 by 2 into x square plus 4x and this becomes minus 1 by 2 into e power x into x square plus 4x. So before yp equals to minus 1 by 2 into x square plus 4x into e power x. So we got yp and yc now, right? We can find or we can write the general solution now. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc we are having c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x plus yp is minus 1 by 2 into x square plus 4x into e power x. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.